Good morning, everyone. It's Tom Dizot here. Um, hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, today, I'm just gonna go over uh, one of the topics that I haven't discussed before, and uh, so I think you know it could be a good idea just to go over it. And also, we have a pretty good example from Friday. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pull up the chart here. The stock Wimi Why I am I. Uh, you know, it's kind of one of the black swan stocks, like, you know, went parabolic uh, in the after hours. Uh, we weren't uh, the room since the morning that it was uh, easy to borrow, uh, you know, stocks. So chances are it's going to, you know, squeeze, uh, you know, uh, more than, uh, than than you think. And uh, and so, you know, but so that's uh, what uh, it's going to be the topic for today is... Mm, I just want to explain in depth on how to trade the ETB stock or the easy to borrow stocks. But first of all, you know, what is ETB, right? What is the easy to borrow stocks? So because I got these questions a lot from the members asking, you know, how can you know or how, 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 how do you find that the stock is ETB? I mean, uh, the best way how to find out if the stock is easy to borrow or not is to ask around right uh, because I'm using trade zero and when, when it comes to finding out if the stock is easy to borrow or not trade zero is not really the one that you should count on because uh, uh, for like trade zero usually you have to pay for everything uh, you know in in my experience uh, I've seen a lot of stocks like I have never seen one it was ETB on trade zero unless it's like Amazon or Apple or something even sometimes I have to pay for spy and Apple so <laughs> you know that's just ridiculous so if you want to find out if the stock is uh, easy to borrow or not don't count on TZ don't count on trade zero okay you have to ask around you know those like uh, using Cobra uh, IB in in interactive uh, brokers uh, CP center point, uh, E trade, uh, thing or swim, and you know, you know, like like uh, a lot of different brokers, right? Um, but if it, if all of those uh, brokers that uh, who's having uh, the ETB stocks, like if the stocks is easy, e like if if the stock is easy to borrow in, in those brokers, usually on IB and and thing or swim, if they have it for free, that means everyone is having it. So that's how you can find out. But what that easy to borrow means, right? You know, it's pretty simple. Uh, easy to borrow. That means you can short any amount, like any amount of shares you want, without locating, without paying for them. So basically, it's free, right? So it's like pretty much the same on, on the long side that you just uh, want to place your order and then just get in uh, instead of uh, for on the short side. If the stock is not easy to borrow. You have to locate them first, whatever the amount, and then uh, based on that, you can use that on the short side, right? But if it's easy, the, uh, um, yeah, like easy to borrow, you can short any amount you want uh, as long as your account allows you to do so. So, so that's uh, the general info about the easy to borrow stocks. And uh, so, um, what is the edge on on the ETB stocks, right? Usually. Uh, usually what you know in my personal opinion the edge is more for the long bias trader instead of, of for for, uh, for 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 short sell and uh, so i would say here if you are long bias the easy to borrow stocks is going to work better for you but it doesn't mean that there's no edge for a short side right there is an edge but you just have to wait for the backside to kind of trade it but uh, you know a lot of times they don't happen that uh, you know often and so uh, when when the first time kind of stock didn't move uh, we try to kind of uh, uh, warn the guys that you probably should have avoided first uh, you know um, and then just wait for the backside ba basically wait for the confirmation uh, to be able to short the stock because uh, easy to borrow stocks they can move really uh, you know crazy and you know if if they have SSR on the move is even more powerful so you just have to be careful on that because 
the squeeze is going to be much more likely than you know uh, like the all day fader right for the all day fader uh, usually they just pop and then drop and also uh, on the ETB stocks low floater uh, SSR on uh, usually those stocks are the chat room you know targets like pumpers are really interested in those uh, so they can pump it to their members and alert it to them so you know stock could uh, you know squeeze higher and and uh, in in very short amount of time that's usually the best stocks that they like to trade basically yeah so uh, back to the edge uh, so what is the edge trading the ETB stock right uh, the edge I think here is on the long side and you know, but uh, you know still uh, you know that's a potential long right but you still have to time it right so timing is really important here uh, Harry is a really good long bias trader and he did some great video on, on those and you can see his criterias are usually you know the ETB SSR low floater hot check of the day uh, you know, if you have all those, you know, criterias combined and kind of fit into the setup, uh, now you need to kind of develop a plan on how to trade them, right? So I'm not good with long, so I'm I'm just you know, uh, tell you guys, or I'm 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 all I'm trying to do here is, like, if the stocks I don't want to short, right? I, like I'm a short bias trader and I don't want to touch that. So that means, you know, it could be an edge for long there. But since I'm not good with long, so I'm not going to mess with it. But I know, but I still want to learn the concepts, how the stock behaves, so that I can avoid it, you know, in, in the future. And uh, the perfect example here, I'm, I'm going to show it to you guys. Uh, let's just ignore the open here. On the pre-market. Yeah, it's like this uh, or maybe and you know it's, it's the best time I mean the best way how to trade is on e easy to borrow stocks uh, just avoid completely the pre-market trading I mean it's it just really doesn't make sense here if you you know you end up chasing down here and uh, but uh, you know there is uh, uh, some certain setup that you can do is uh, let the stock kind of uh you know let let the chart form first right so let it you know really extend here and you can see when it kind of wash and try to go lower at this point and you can see here uh when the stock is trying to go lower right longs are kind of you know sell into that because it kind of panicking that okay stock is under view app i have to you know to cut my position i have to get out of the trade right here and the shorts are more interested because if it's easy to borrow a lot of people who have shares and those are usually the inexperienced one right like if thing or swim or interactive brokers they have shares that's mean the demand or like the de demand is is really big so as you can see the stock is trying to go lower and a lot of people slamming down here expecting the stock is going to go down right the moment it squeezed back because it was like easy to borrow a lot of you know short chasers are chasing down here but when you see kind of this pop to this level they're kind of panicking right those are uh, those stubborn shorts we call it they're going to panic and then they end up covering right and so when, once it broke this level those are even the people who are shorting down here will cover into this and and this that's why you see the big move uh, you know squeeze that back and the moment it got squeezed back up here the longs the stubborn longs are thinking okay so the stock is re reclaimed now i have to chase something here so uh, that's that's how that's why you see that big move to a potential upside here because shorts are covering right shorts chasing down here they're covering back up it just to get out you know the go the one cover here the one cover here longs okay so this is a breakout kind of pattern right so i have to get in here chase long here chase long here and chase long here so that's how 
you kind of interact or how you can you know explain how kind of the move or how the stocks kind of um, moving into that that directions and and with SSR is even worse because SSR you can't even slam the bit right if if you want it to short uh, you know you you have to kind of wait on the ass uh, you know so usually kind of short sell restriction and uh, longs cannot uh, you know uh, uh, slam the bit to get out so uh, they have to kind of put it on the ass and you know shorts also on the ass and you know usually those those kind of kind of uh, stocks that has SSR on and ET uh, like easy to borrow they, they tend to squeeze more and you see a lot of kind of teleport candle um, doing those so yeah so the concept here if like if you want a long just you know just keep it simple uh, you know just long the dip and short the rip you know that's how I kind of approach it uh, you know for for me uh, so if I, w I was you know even thinking about long I would definitely long you know I, I would draw my line this is the line I'm seeing here you know is the previous high right one stock broke through that uh, resistance becomes a, sh uh, a support right broke that with the authority so this level is broken now uh, I want to see it test it back to that so as you can see here resistance becomes support and that's a good place and you know for long you don't want to be chasing up here or you don't want to be chasing up here if you long always look for the support also you can uh, you know if stock reclaim view app you can uh, you know long some dip at view app and then just risk under it you know it's really up to you but I don't recommend it, uh, you know, to kind of long in in the pre-market if you knew, uh, if you still don't know what to do. So, uh, so that's one of the edge on the long side uh, in, in the pre-market. Okay, so let's say uh, I'm I'm a short bias trader, right? Uh, and I want to I ignore all that you know, pre-market here. Let it extend, and I'm gonna short the backside. So. What would be my best entry? What would be the best high risk and reward kind of scenario, right? So I want to see the stock kind of show its card first for me. It's like basically the stock is broken or some sort of a weakness, like a trend reversal or, or something like that. I mean, hold on, two minutes here, two minutes here. I just want to. Yeah, if you draw a line here, if you draw a line from this to this, you can see how the trend is still intact, right? But the moment it cracked this line, this trend is basically broken. So I could tell that in the short kind of short time frame for the stock is is broken right but it doesn't mean that it could reclaim back but in a short time frame that the stock is temporary you know broken now so I can short back the bounce or I can uh, you know short the weakness after that but since is uh, easy to borrow stocks right the trend is broken now 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 it looks like more short to me than instead of long right so at the open here At the boat, uh, at 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 the open here, I'm just gonna draw that line again. Yeah, you can, you know, whatever you can choose this uh, from here to here, or, you know, whatever line you you're comfortable with, uh, you know, or this to that to this low. Yeah, so basically the trend is broken and. As a short bias trader, I want to short back the bounce. I don't want to be, I know that the stock is easy to borrow, right? The moment it cracks here, a lot of shorts are chasing. I mean, you don't want to be those that were chasing the stock. And yeah, of course, sometimes it could work, sometimes it, it's not, right? But, uh, you know, major of the time, if you're chasing down here and the stock is kind of squeezed back, you're going to end up, you know, stopping out or like, uh, you know, ending up hurting yourself. So, just be cautious with that uh, when it's uh, easy to borrow or like SSR is on 
always wait for the bounce they always bounce back don't worry about that i mean if you miss that so be it right easy to borrow i don't want to mess with that if i like if i want to trade the stock i need to have a perfect entry otherwise i'm not interested in for the longs i want to long the dip for the short i want a short resistance or the rip right whatever so the moment the stock kind of uh, broke broke the trend here just let it tank right just let it tank here and then you can draw some some line before okay so first let's see this is the high okay oh, i have to put a different drawing tool so this is the pre-market high that's one line for me the second line is uh this support here right here they've been saving this support uh support resistance also another line for me right so i have two lines here so i'm gonna uh wait for the style to kind of form more uh you know chart to form more so that i can have that so that i can draw uh, you know some sort of line after that right so uh moment it tanks here pops up here uh i have here another line so so as you can see stock dips right into this support so now if i want to long right yes i can go ahead and grab some long here because the stock is you know easy to borrow likely it's gonna pop okay i mean worst case scenario i mean like whenever you're trading always have stop or like risk management in place you know i don't care if the the setup is is uh is, is really good in your favor um or like you know it's like like nothing is 100 percent, right nothing is certain like anything could happen but you have a high probability of the pattern and that's why you need to track and uh, and here i mean the edge for long is pretty good pretty decent uh, you know over extended and then it dips uh, right down here to this uh, major support right uh the next line would be this support but if it dips to this yeah you know, let's say you're gonna long and then you're gonna gonna stop out and maybe at this line or like 6.5 right here before you get another entry down here so it's it's really up to you uh, I'm, I'm i'm just saying uh you know examples here so if if uh you know easy to borrow if i want to long i want to long the dip right into the major support into the support if i want to short the stock okay so i know this is the line and this is the line okay so i'm gonna scale up to those resistance because those resistance are more the outer lines for me i mean if the stocks end up uh, if the the short uh, are chasing down here right likely they're gonna cover uh, after reclaim view app longs are, are gonna chase more so uh, up here so that's why this line outer lines is always works the best for the short seller uh, on the easy to borrow stock so if i draw that line i would have seen uh you know uh, the clear you know line for me to kind of short into i have this one here and that one here i mean you know 8.5 9.2 if that's too much for you you can you know easily uh okay i'm gonna put some bullets here near that 8.5 and just risking 8.7 and i'm gonna try it one more time 99.2 and you know risking 9.5 so the point i'm trying uh, to make today is that on the easy to borrow stocks you have to be patient you cannot chase i mean chasing on the easy to borrow stocks you're not gonna end up well because uh you know there's a lot of uh stubborn shorts or long uh, interested in the stocks when you have only like uh you know people on the one side is easier and you know how to trade and it's like you know when when the stocks having like if the stocks only have longs long longs long longs right so usually when it kind of reverse those people who are long in stock let's say let's say here you know you have all the long buys here chasing the stock up here if no one has shares and no one uh kind of has shares to kind of short the stock all you know those uh like will end up into like uh, the stock will end up into keep fading the old day so that's why 
uh, we seen a lot of like all day fader uh, I can't remember which one it was uh, yeah I, I think it was DSS yeah this one you can see uh, you know all longs are chasing the stock but then they are like not uh, you know many uh, like uh, shorts uh, you know uh, have shares to short the stock so that's why I mean it just the I mean the game is just really about demand and supply kind of and and when you see so so many demands and supply on this one as you can see you know uh, when it starts it kind of wicks down here shorts are keep piling you know it shares uh, you know shorting down here those are mo the most dangerous point to trade in I mean uh, usually f on, on the short side on, on the easy to borrow stocks uh, so I, I would always suggest there are more edge on the long for the easy to borrow and SSR and low floater there are more edge for longs so uh, if you want to trade that stock go long right but still you need to time it right there's not much edge for the short side but if you want to short the stock right if you want to short the ETB or SSR stock low floater always aim for the outer lines so right? always wait for the outer lines you cannot chase the weakness on easy to borrow stocks that's all I'm trying to say today okay and if uh, you are on a short side and you wrong right out like you know if I want to short the stock which is easy to borrow I want to short into the like the parabolic move the strength and I, I have the you know clear risk the proper risk to risk from so usually what I do is I wait for the stock to kind of pop first you know I, I don't want to be guessing the top just let the stock top out first and then I show back the bounce so I have a clear risk in mind uh, so in this case tops out here nine point you know three and it dies up to like six point five right so that's uh, you know pretty clear uh, uh, that's stock is telling me okay the top is temporarily set right now I can short towards that uh, high or that top risking over that right so as you can see here 8.5 uh, you know has some more move 8.5 you can see how the resistance kind of react to that until the last time you know as as uh, as they grinding uh, you know as as the range are kind of tightened a little bit so that's where you see the breakout right like uh, you know pop here drop pop here drop I mean if you just keep shorting at that resistance how many times you will get right I mean just ignore the first one so you have ones here you've got like you know almost dollar move 1.5 yeah 1.2 one yeah here, right here so you can get like you know 50 cents move so a dollar 50 cents 50 cents that's almost two bucks right so but if you just get like, keep chasing and you know down here in the middle the short and you know the weakness here you're gonna end up you know stopping out like once twice and three times so the best way is to short the outer lines resistance or whatever uh, you uh, you call it and for the longs just long at the dip major support define what major support is and also uh, you also I think there's one uh, good long strategy is that uh, wait for the stock to kind of reclaim view app and then dips to that you can shoot you know long some there and just risking over this but again you know it's easy in hindsight right nobody knows that stocks gonna squeeze that much I mean I had the idea I had the right thesis that uh, I kind of uh, you know put it in the main chat as well that uh, likely the stock is gonna squeeze into after hours but I don't know that right I have uh, you know some sort of idea that I don't want to be shorting this uh, into like uh, after zombie and also in the afternoon because you know well o above you app so is that not does not match my criteria so I, I didn't want to touch it but it doesn't mean I could go long on that so right but uh, uh, on the short side the first hour that's our edge easy to borrow stocks wait for the hour lines don't try to chase weakness here that's all I'm trying to say and if you allow a long bias you know wait for maybe 10 
1030 and then let's see how the stocks behave see you know if the stocks continue to fade here or let's continue to squeeze you know above you app so yeah guys so i hope you know this video is helpful uh so i hope it kind of clear out some of the questions you have regarding etb easy to borrow stocks uh if you still have questions on any of this or like uh, topics and like easy to borrow and so on, just, you know, uh, don't be afraid and uh, hit me DM anytime. I'm always here for you guys. So if you need anything, let me know. And yeah, uh, so let's have a great trading week next week and I'll see you guys on next one. Take care.